Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft episode. Uh, today we are continuing on the skyblock. Um, I've done another little bit of stuff since we were last on. Uh, as you can see, I've expanded out my farms a little bit. Made uh, nine of those now. Uh, also, uh, I've made some storage drawers. Pretty standard storage drawers. Just made the 2x2 two two ones. Um, I think you get four of these from uh, four chests and some wood. Um, yeah, I think chests in the corners and then wood across the other side. Uh, I've also managed to do a ton of mining of cobblestone. So as you can see down here, we've got 512 in that drawer and 512 in that drawer. Uh, I will get around to up, you know, updating those at some point. Um, sorry, upgrading the drawers so they hold more. Uh, also, it's rained since last time. Now, one of the interesting side effects of rain is you get your cobblestone starts turning into mossy stone, which is pretty handy. Uh, the other thing that will also happen is if you put dirt down, uh, dirt will grow grass. Uh, but as you can see, we've got our oak barrels there. They are now filled with water. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to... I'm going to show you a trick. <laughs> a trick with the uh, the sieve. So what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to reset up across here. So what I'll do is probably... Uh, so you've even got more... <laughs> cobblestone left over in here which is just insane so what I'm going to do is we'll break that up and we'll break one there maybe there yeah maybe there all right so now over here I'm going to want see I've got one of those drawers left over uh wood 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 we actually have a ton of wood as well 300 and something odd which is all handy. So let's just make another chest, another one of these. So I'll put that there and that there. Yeah, sure, <laughs> that'll do. Um, I always like having one of these next to my next to my drawers. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to want to make a ton of maybe not 18 in fact nine is a perfect amount so what we're going to need to do is let's grab these now this is a stone hammer so if i shift click those and get all them now what i can do with the stone hammer is i can combine nine of them and the reason we want nine of them is we can make this compressed stone hammer. Now, the stone hammer does the same thing as we were doing over here with our chicken stick. The, the chicken stick obviously doesn't uh, get destroyed or anything. Uh, you know, there's no durability to it. Uh, but the stone hammer will have durability. So one of the things we're going to do with the stone hammer is we're going to make compressed cobblestone. Let's make a bit of compressed cobblestone. In fact, let's make... A ton of compressed cobblestone. 21, that'll do. So what we can do with the compressed cobblestone and the compressed hammer is if we lay some of this out and hit it, you'll actually destroy the compressed cobblestone and get gravel out of it. Which is very, very handy to do. And then what we can do with the gravel is head to one of these, combine, get the compressed gravel, and then over in our uh, heavy oak sieve, we can do a bunch of this. Now the compressed stuff in the heavy oak sieve, I'm unsure if it actually gives you more or less uh, than if you just did nine pieces in here. I suspect it'll actually give you less stuff, um, like overall, but you just can't beat the convenience of being able to do a compressed lot. I mean, look at that, we've got, I've got our first bit of flint, uh, we've got some lapis, some appetite, some more coal. Uh, broken gold or so you know we're getting a ton of really good stuff there uh, what I'm probably gonna do from here is I will yeah, I'll run away actually and do more of this so um, what we can do even after breaking this down into uh, gravel you can then compress the gravel uh, and break this down into sand I believe and then compress it down and make it into dust so I'm gonna need some sand and I'm gonna need some dust and I'm gonna need um, a bit of a few things. So I'll run away, make a bunch of the stuff. I'll probably get an extra chest or two as well. What am I doing? Ah, oh, there we go. So this is where I'm actually putting all of this stuff. Uh, oh, I've got a square spear crafting station in there anyway. Uh, I'll probably put the 
you know, we'll put the flint there. We'll put the lapis there. Uh, coal, do I have coal? Yes, I have coal already. Uh, and appetite, sure, can just go there. Awesome, so I'm, I'm leaving this bottom row relatively empty. In fact, I've already got appetite there. Uh, and that's because I eventually want to build my island to be a three layers thick. Uh, I don't really have the cobblestone to do that at the moment, so I'm planning on removing this bottom row of drawers and adding uh, you know, a layer of cobblestone to everything. So uh, give me a minute, I will be back once I've crushed up a bit of the stuff and we've got a bit of gravel, sand and the dust that um, you get after that from smashing with a hammer. I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, that didn't take uh, as long as I thought it did. Uh, we've got 45 dust. I've compressed the sand into compressed sand, uh, although we are going to want to have some as actual sand. Uh, reason being, I want some glass, so that's cool. Uh, also, the dust. Now, the dust is what we're going to need for a very interesting property of uh, these oak barrels. Now, what I'm going to do is you put the dust in there and you get clay. Clay being very, very useful to have. So if we place the clay out, there we go, and we get actual, actual bits of clay, uh, which I'm just gonna throw, okay, there we'll do. Uh, so that's our first bit of clay. So the first thing we actually wanna get towards is we actually wanna make a Coke oven, uh, because we're gonna need some creosote oil. Now, Coke oven needs, yeah, just sand and bricks. Uh, so, but we need a ton of it, so I'll probably do that all off camera. Uh, the other thing that we wanted, that I wanted to show you, is a neat little trick with three of these. So what we can do, and I discovered that what you can do is you can fill a water bottle with water, and it doesn't deplete the source block. But you can actually put water in these. So I can keep going like this, and unfortunately, see at the top it says 99.9%. .9%. You do actually need to add a fourth one to top that up. Which is pretty a pretty handy way of being able to make clay on demand at the start. Now, one of the interesting things with this is once we get ourselves a yeah, once we get ourselves a bucket, we're actually able to take the bucket of water out of there uh, and put it into a normal two by two to make an infinite water source. Uh, and then you can just keep doing this over and over again, um, you know, filling these up with buckets instead. Like once you've got the infinite water source, it's pretty good. Uh, so let's see what we get out of these things. So I'm gonna keep, actually no, we'll use the dust up. Keep six more for those. I'll show you what each of these things get. So we already know what gravel gets. Now, compressed sand. So if we sieve sand, we get a bunch of things. Let's have a look. We get, oh, certus quartz, charged certus quartz, uh, a bunch of crushed stuff, uh, as well as some cocoa beans. So what I'm gonna do is we'll put the crushed platinum, crushed yellorium, iron, all the ore type stuff in here. Uh, cocoa beans. Certus and so let's go for Certus there, charge Certus there, cocoa beans there. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. All right, so that's what sand gives us. Now, uh, compressed dust. Let's see what compressed dust gives us. Right, so there's our first bit of redstone. Actually, no, it's not. It's our second bit of redstone. Did uh, do some sand last time, I've just remembered. So the other interesting things we get from here are sulfur dust and gunpowder and blaze powder. So these are the interesting, interesting ones to get. So let's just put that there for now. Uh, we have some of that. Now blaze powder. Let's put blaze powder up there. Sulfur dust can just go there. Gunpowder there. And the rest of the stuff is Aluminium, tin, silver, ylorium, iron, and copper. So, now, how do we actually do this sort of stuff? Uh, actually, we'll do the compressed gravel as well. So what I was saying before is it's always good to... Oh, there's an emerald. That's pretty handy. So once we've done this... It's always good to break stuff down all the way into the dust. It does take you a little bit longer, unfortunately. So we go for Eulorian, copper, platinum, iron, 
Oh, so we have some of that, some of that, some of that, uh, some of that. Emeralds. Wow, I can't believe we've got emeralds already. Uh, let's put them there. Cool. Uh, so what we're going to do with this stuff is let's do let's do iron. So we grab the iron, the iron, and the, like everything iron. Uh, we're going to want to build ourselves. A single stone hammer although we should be able to use the chicken stick actually so so what we do is we combine all of this into iron or gravel let's see if the chicken stick works no chicken stick doesn't work alrighty so let's just put that back uh, so the stone hammer so if we break these up with the stone hammer, we get four or more of these crushed iron. So now we can do that and, oh look, we've got five. So we've already gained an extra one. Uh, where is it? That one. There we go. And now, plus our extra iron, now we've got six. Now this iron or dust can't be broken down anymore. So what we really need to do from here is just smelt it. Now, if we put the six into a tinker's construct table, we would actually end up with double the amount of ore, um, which is pretty good. So for now, I'm gonna make these just to show you that it does actually work. Uh, plus making the tinker's construct is a little way off because we're gonna need a ton of gravel, uh, a ton of clay, um, and a ton of sand, I believe it is for the grout as well as the cocoa oven. I am grout, yes. So clay, uh, gravel and sand, we're gonna need for that. Plus we're gonna need just a ton of sand anyway. So I'm once again gonna cut this here. I will go and crush up a ton of this compressed cobblestone. We're gonna get ourselves a lot of gravel and a lot of sand, and hopefully we can make ourselves uh, maybe a tinker stable, maybe the cocoa oven, maybe both uh, in this episode, which will make it a pretty, a pretty big episode in terms of um, getting ahead. Uh, but that's okay. I think we've got all the pieces here that we need. All right, so see you in just a minute once I've crushed up a bunch of the stuff. Okie dokie, I have done a ton of stuff. I've made a bunch of clay in there. I've actually just, there we go, just finished firing up the clay. Uh, we need 104 pieces of this. Uh, so that should be 104. Uh, there we go, 16 there, 16 there. Ah, uh, we need 27. No, 27. Oh, actually that's too many. We only need 26 of these. So let's put seven there, seven, 26, there we go. Now I've realized there's no way we can make ourselves the uh, smeltery this time around because uh, we can't fuel it and we can't fuel it unless we have lava uh, and lava we can't move until we have a bucket and we can't have a bucket until we have our coke oven. So um, everything's a bit held up there. So what I'm going to do is we'll put our coke oven, where will we put our coke oven? Just here is probably fine to be honest. I might have it hanging out over the edge a little bit and I'll fill that in later keeping the middle block empty if we've done it right cool one coke oven now I normally don't bother putting coal in there because I always find I need coal for other things so what we'll do is we'll put wood in there still gives us the creosote um, which we're going to need for so let me show you the dilemma. So the problem we have is we need a bucket. Bucket needs iron plates. The iron plates we need to either scratch in a metal form or one of these machines, which we no one here can make yet, uh, or we need a forge hammer. Now the forge hammer is a bunch of iron, which we've got already, and two treated sticks. Now the treated sticks come from treated wood and treated wood comes from these creosote uh, treated wood so I'm gonna leave that and we've got a bottle which is fine so I'll do that next episode uh, for now this is another pretty good place to end this we have our coke oven uh, between this episode and next time I will probably well fill out more and more and more of this island uh, and mine some more and more and more um, cobblestone and hopefully sieve some more stuff because we're gonna need a bit more things like uh, redstone 
uh, coming up. So that's all from me for this time. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.